my channel. Today, I thought it would be fun to do an updated sneaker collection for 2022. The last time that I did a sneaker collection video was around six months ago, and since then, my collection has grown quite a bit. So I thought it'd be fun to do a little update and then also try on all the shoes for you, which was heavily requested in my last video. So if you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe down below, and I will also be linking all of the sneakers that I show throughout today's video. So be sure to check that out in the description box as well. And without further ado, let's get into it because there is a lot to go through. So the first pair I have is the Dunk Lows in Barely Green. I really love this little colorway because it's so light and pastel. I feel like you can pair it with like a multitude of different outfits and styles. It kind of goes along with anything. It's probably my most worn <laughs> Dunk Low, you can kind of tell at the bottoms. I am a big fan of pastels and this one is just definitely a favorite of mine in my collection. The next shoe I have is the Lime Ice Dunk Low and again pastel. This would kind of look cute with this sweater. I love this one because I don't know if it will pick up well on camera but it's like the lightest pastel pink. Like the laces are so cute. It has a little lavender swoosh. And I'm a huge fan of the color green. <laughs> so I just love this sneaker. I actually have not been able to wear it out yet, but I just think it, it is so beautiful. Next up, I have the Dunk Loads in Easter Candy. These ones are really cool because the bottoms is like a jawbreaker. I think that is really interesting and unique. And these ones are obviously a little bit more neon. This is probably the brightest pair that I have in my collection. And I just really love that they are kind of mismatched on each shoe. It makes it so fun. I love this pair. This was a surprise from my boyfriend. And I just think that these are just the coolest. Next up, I have the Dunk Highs in Cashmere. And this one is really cool. It has various pastel colors on here with the lilac, the cream swoosh the lime green and then the pastel pink. The bottoms of the shoe is also like that same cream on the swoosh. I think that these are so beautiful, so pretty. I don't have, I think I only have one more pair of Dunk Highs. I really love how these look, but they are such a pain to put on my foot. So these ones I don't buy as often as the lows just for convenience sake, but I do love a high top sneaker. Next up, this is my newest sneaker. I actually got this one for Christmas from my sweet boyfriend. He is very supportive of my extensive sneaker collection and obsession. These are the Jordan Mids in Dutch Green. And I, again, a very, very big fan of the color green. This color in particular is like my all time favorite color. And I love the, I don't know if they're like pink, they look pink, but they're a little bit lilac-y as well. Um, laces and then the little Jordan logo as well. I think that these are so cute and these are one of my favorites in my collection. It's hard for me to choose an actual favorite because there's so many good ones and they're all my babies, but this one is just beautiful and I feel like this one embodies me as a shoe. They're beautiful. <laughs> also, fun fact, Jordan's have like a special place in my heart as well. My mom named me <laughs> specifically after Michael Jordan. My middle name is Jordan because she was obsessed with him and now I just feel like this deep connection. <laughs> Next up is another pair of the Dunk Highs in the aluminum colorway and I just love this pastel blue. I feel like this one has gotten a lot of wear out of my collection because I've just kind of gravitated more towards like wearing greens and blues lately so this one this one has seen a lot recently same thing it's such a pain to put on i honestly recommend sizing up in both jordan mids and the dunk highs just because it makes it a little bit easier to put on and it's just it's a little bit more comfortable for me personally but i love this sneaker so much i think it is so so beautiful Next, I have the Dunk Low in Golden Gals, which is such a cute name. This actually did come with gold laces, but I just kept the silver laces that they were already laced up with because I just kind of prefer that look. But I was so excited for these. I got these right around Christmas, and I felt like they were the perfect holiday season shoe. I prefer sneakers to heels. I did not go out this year for Christmas or New Year's, but... If I were to, I would definitely be rocking these. I think that these are very festive. 
massive and fun. My only gripe with these is the silver on them. It doesn't come off, but it does kind of have like that crackly look to it, which I think the texture is really cool, honestly. But there are some pieces where it just kind of looks like it's flaking. I don't know. Just thought I would mention that, but I still think that they are absolutely stunning. And it's such a fun little sneaker. I'm a little party sneaker. Next up, I have the Jordan 1s in Sherpa Fleece. So the inside here is all fuzzy Sherpa. They are so comfortable, so warm. I also just love like this gray suede. I think that it is so cute and perfect for the season right now. I am really big on Sherpa with like every aspect of my life right now. Sherpa jackets, pajamas, bags. I'm all about it. So as soon as I saw these, I was like, I need them. They're perfect. They're so cozy, so comfortable. And the details, ugh, I just love Jordans. I think that they are just the best. <laughs> this next one, I get the most questions about when I post about these. These are the Jordan 1's iridescent and they look pretty normal, just like cute little Jordans with some black detailing. But in the flash, they have like the coolest iridescent glow. They're another really unique shoe. I'm all about collecting like the coolest shoes and like a little bit different from the norm, I guess. Although none of my shoes are like crazy. But just like, I like fun little interesting things like this. So I thought that these were so cool. My boyfriend actually got these for me as well for my birthday in 2020. And this is actually one of the first like nice sneakers that I ever owned and kind of started my collection and started the obsession. Before this, I had only really owned like Vans, um, some Converse, and I was just starting to get interested in Air Forces. So this was like the start of it all really. Okay, I just told you I really love unique sneakers and this one is unique to say the least. This was part of a collab with Swarovski. I always feel like I'm saying that wrong. Like I literally tried to do the Google pronunciation and I think I'm still saying it wrong. It just shows like I'm not fancy enough to even own these, but I was so excited. I thought that they were just so cool and unique. They have all of the crystals on like this cool, it's kind of like a netting i don't even know what you would call this but it also came with like a little screwdriver that you could like take the top portion off i'm gonna keep it on because i think it's really cool but these are definitely unique and surprisingly insanely insanely comfortable these are air forces so it's the same sort of vibe but these are like extra cushiony inside i don't know they're very comfortable i will say that they are on the heavier side i got a lot of mixed reviews when i posted these both on here on youtube and on my instagram some people were like those are insane i'm obsessed others were like that is the ugliest effing shoe i've ever seen which I kind of love. I love things that like get that sort of reaction. Such a fun little piece of the collection. So going into blazers, I have a few pairs. I think blazers are one of my most worn sneakers in my collection. I feel like they're very versatile. They kind of go with everything. They're insanely comfortable. And I honestly, I prefer the lows to the mids for the same reason that I prefer the lows to the dunk highs. It's such a pain to put my foot in there. But these are the Blazer Lows in Coconut Milk. And the texture of these is so cool. They're like fuzzy, suede. The swoosh on this side is brown and on the opposite side, it's green. I just love all the little details of the shoe and even like the aglets on the laces are that green. I just adore this shoe. This is probably my favorite out of all of my blazers. But I do, I do have a runner up that I will get to at some point. I'll tell you all about it. The next blazer I have is another blazer low with the vintage pine green swoosh. I just love green. I don't know what to say. Look at me. I'm a green lady. These are so cute. I ended up getting my boyfriend a matching pair. It's kind of an excuse to buy me these shoes and then be like, oh, here's a gift for you too. You know what I mean? So I think this is the only sneaker that we have that matches and I just love that. I love having a matching sneaker. So this one's kind of special. Next, I have the Dunk Highs in Dark Chocolate, and I actually got these the same time that I got the Coconut Milk. So this one is just beautiful. I love that it has purple aglets, and it also has a purple tag on the tongue. 
So just really cute little details. I love this shoe so much. So my other favorite blazer is the platform lows. I love a good platform and these are just everything. I get so many compliments on these when I wear them and this is the one shoe that like whenever I link these on Instagram it has the most swipe ups every single time. This one just matches everything. I feel like it is the perfect closet staple. The last pair of blazers I have are of course the mids. I feel like this is another closet staple. You gotta have a pair of mids in your closet. These ones, I will say they get more <laughs> comfortable and easier to put on the more you wear them, but this was actually the first pair of blazers that I ever bought and what started the obsession. So these hold a special place in my heart. I feel like these are a very versatile shoe, kind of matches everything. I also see a ton of people wearing these to work out in. And I just think that looks so cute. Next up, these are the Air Force Ones in Sage Low. So they have a little bit of a platform. They're a little bit taller and like beefier <laughs> than the traditional Air Force One. Again, I really love how a platform looks. I ended up wearing these more than my regular Air Forces. I actually got these for Christmas of 2020, I believe, and I had worn them over to my boyfriend's mom's house, and when she saw them, she ordered them immediately, so I just thought that was really cute. Next up are the Air Force Ones in pink foam, and I remember seeing like a photo of these on Pinterest or something and having to track them down. I ended up finding them really easily on StockX, and they were only available in big kid sizing, which is great for us with like size seven, I think through maybe eight or nine women's feet, because I just ordered like a five and a half kids, and it fits perfectly. I think that these are just so cute. These were like a staple of mine for summer 2020. I wore these constantly. They're just so fun. Another fun and colorful shoe are these Air Max 270 Cs. I think that these are just so cute with the little rainbow. It also has like a rainbow like on the laces. Just the prettiest colors. Whenever I wear these out for like a walk, I just feel very fancy, very cute. These are also so comfortable. I love these shoes because they're extremely lightweight. Look how pretty they are. Just the whole shoe is so beautiful. Next up are the Nike 2K Zoom and I found these randomly at like a Foot Locker in Vegas. I was just like kind of shopping at the mall on the strip and came across these and I was obsessed. So I bought them and I've had such a hard time finding this exact colorway on the internet because I get a lot of questions about this shoe and asking me to link it and stuff. And this one in particular is so hard for me to track down, but it's a gorgeous shoe, very lightweight as well, and very comfortable. I ended up wearing this like right after buying them in Vegas and walking the strip in these. I think the 2K Zooms are just really cute shoes. They have a bunch of different colorways and I definitely want to get another pair. Next up is the Air Max Furiosa. I hope I'm saying that correctly. It doesn't, it doesn't sound like I am, but another super interesting sneaker. I love a Nike Air Max just because the comfort levels in these, so, so good. But these in particular, I just thought were so fun. They remind me of like the 90s. I think that they are so cute. This colorway in particular is just adorable. I love the lilac with like the little lime green on the back of the sneaker. It has laces as well tied into a little bow which is such a cute little detail. These are so comfortable. I actually love to wear this style of sneaker in particular with like flared leggings or yoga pants. Also I just wanted to point out the bottom of the sneaker is so cool as well. I love how it looks. And this is the same exact style in the colorway Night Green. This one is actually my favorite pair out of the two. Again, this is very like 80s, 90s vibes, the colors in particular. And the coolest part about these is that the inside is black velvet. So cute. Same thing on the back. They have like the little black laces tied in a little bow, pastel purple, aglets. I just love all of the colors on this sneaker. Also again, extremely comfortable. These are like walking on clouds and I just love the chunk. Next up, I have these pastel purple filas and I don't remember the name nor can I find these on the website. So I will definitely 
make sure the correct name and everything is down below and linked for you guys but this pair I think I got like 2019 I was just starting to get into like the comfy athletic sort of sneakers but not like really in the sneaker scene yet I guess um, and I was a huge fan of pastels at the time I still am but like more so then and I just love this sneaker it's super comfortable um, I used to actually have a lot of filas in my collection I've slowly kind of pushed them out as I've <laughs> grown my collection but this one I've kind of held on to for a long time just because I really do like the color um, and they're just really comfy Moving on to New Balances, I only have two pairs of New Balances and I bought them both at the same time. These are the 574s and I love this colorway, it's so soft, it's kind of neutral while also having like a little bit of like that slate grey and blue colors. But I love the cream detailing on this shoe, I think that they are so beautiful and these in particular are very very comfortable. And the other one I bought is this 570 sneaker, this was in men's sizing and I did not read it right at first so I actually had ordered my size in men's, it obviously didn't fit but hello we got the right size now. These are also very, very comfy and these kind of go with everything just because of the colorway. Again, very neutral. I like that it has black. I don't really have many black sneakers, so I really, really do love this one. Next up, I have the Air Force One Shadows and these are just so cool. I bought these right around summertime and I thought that they were perfect with like the pop of yellow, but also the little charms on them. Way, way, way too cute. The charms like really make this sneaker for me. I just thought that they were so fun. They also had like the same sort of style available in an Air Max. I almost bought both, but I was like, okay, let's relax. Let's pick one. So I ended up going with the Air Forces and I'm glad I did because I feel like I've gotten a little bit more wear out of these than I would the Air Maxes, but both are very cute. I just, uh, I can't get enough. Such a fun little detail. These were my very first pair of Air Forces and they are custom painted pink with the Louis logo. I actually found these on Etsy. I will link the girl's name down below because she actually sent me another pair of Air Forces that I'll show you next. But I love these at the time. I bought them, I believe, 2020 and I wore them the entire summer with every outfit. If you go on my Instagram, you will see these pop up a lot they are everything i adore them so this is the other pair of air force ones that the same girl that made the louis ones sent to me and these are just stunning it reminds me of a sunset it's just so beautiful i love 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 these colors she's extremely talented i will absolutely give you guys her name okay i've been looking through my dms trying to find her name i cannot find it for the life of me right now but i will put her name on the screen because you guys should definitely check her out she's super talented and i think that these are so cool and last pair of air force ones is also a custom pair this one is actually from generation customs and i'll put their name on the screen so that you guys can check them out as well these ones were also sent to me she was so very sweet they have like little rose gold reflective playboy bunnies on them with the painted swoosh and i just thought that these were so so cute I think Air Force ones are so fun because there are just so many customs out there. You could really do anything with these. I've seen so many amazing ones, so I really do love that sneaker for that reason. Next up, this was the first designer shoe, I think the only designer shoe that I've ever purchased, and it was like such an impulse buy. I ended up wearing them so, so many times. They're very beat up now, but these are Givenchy sneakers. I actually don't remember the exact style name of these. Again, I'll put everything down below, but yeah, a very random impulse buy at the time, but I did get a lot of wear out of these. I haven't worn them recently, but I can't get myself to part with these. I don't know. They're kind of special to me. Next up are my old school Vans platform sneaker and I love these. These are pretty much the only Vans that I ever wear anymore. I used to have a really huge collection of Vans sneakers and I've just kind of sort of switched them out for Nike but no shade I still really do love Vans and this is such a classic but with a twist because it does have the platform which I love. It just adds a little bit of spice to your sneaker you know what I mean? 
this was actually a Christmas gift from my boyfriend's brother last year and it was just so sweet I love this shoe okay and the last sneakers in my collection are my platform Converse the black pair is by far my favorite no offense to you my friend um, this one definitely gets the most wear you can definitely tell that these have been through it they are such a staple and I know I have quite a few staples in this collection that I've mentioned but platform Converse just go with everything they make everything a look I truly am obsessed with this shoe and if I'm ever going on like a trip or something like this is the shoe that I pack just because I know it'll look good with everything I just love it and same thing with the white I really thought that this one was going to get the most wear when I purchased it I was like I gotta have both gotta have options but I will say that I just tend to wear the black more often so if you're kind of in between which one to get I recommend the black they are kind of hard to find they go out of stock often but keep your alerts on your email alerts for back in stock because they are so worth it they're amazing so cute also if you have both of them you could just mix match them and wear them together kind of cute and that wraps up my sneaker collection thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a like and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already if you enjoy sneaker content make sure to follow my sneaker account on instagram it's Haley's kicks and that's kind of where i just show all of my sneakers i'll do like try-ons unboxings and also share outfit inspo so be sure to check that out thank you guys so much again and i will see you soon bye